What happens when one of the biggest pop stars and R&B sensations, whose multi-Grammy award-winning record, a multi-platinum album, decides to speak his mind on some of the lunacy we're seeing from the Transformers community? Well, that's exactly what happened this past week when Neo decided to share some of his thoughts on some of the lunacy we're seeing in the media, specifically with little kids and parents all the bizarre activities that are happening and being forced on others. His statements got him in hot water, which he then issued an apology for that he then took back from his own Instagram. This is fascinating. So I'm gonna play the quick clip from his interview with Vlad TV and the initial things that he said that got him in trouble. If your little boy comes to you and says, Daddy, I wanna be a girl. And you just let him rock with that? You just let him. Right. He's five. Right. And where did he get that if from? If you let this five-year-old boy decide to eat candy all day, he's going to do that. Exactly. Like, when, when did it become a good idea to let a five-year-old, let a six-year-old, let a 12-year-old make a life-changing decision for themselves? Now, this sounds like common sense. This sounds like common sense. Now, by the way, whoever this lady is on Vlad TV who's co-signing everything he's saying, she didn't catch any backlash about this. He did. Why? Because he's the household name. I think this is fairly straightforward. Let's hear him out a little longer. Right. When did that happen? Right. Like, I don't, I don't understand that. I, I, just, I don't get that. Don't and get to that. medicate these young kids that are five, six, growing up and knowing that it, it affects their brain, it affects their organs, it makes them sick, but they're not allowed to do drugs. They're not allowed to do alcohol. Hello. Right. We can medicate them. He can't them drive a car yet, but he can decide his Right, oh, right. What's the orientation? And you can cut up his pee pee, and and that to me that makes no sense whatsoever. Is, uh, so I, I don't know if this. No, 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 no. To to be fair, from my understanding, surgical intervention as it is right now is not supposed to be happening. It's not supposed to be happening for folks under eighteen. From my understanding, it doesn't mean that there's not social transitioning, and it does not mean that they're not taking permanently transformative that uh, oftentimes will cause them to be uh, uh, incapable of having kids or having an orgasm. Okay, that, 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 that is true. But the surgical sp aspect, we also, I don't want a straw man. Okay, now th there have been documented instances of it happening, I believe as early as 15 or 16, but not at this age. So I, I just, I don't, I don't want to misrepresent what they're actually arguing against because I think that's a bit of a straw man. It's true, but I heard a rumor. That yeah, I think in the case of Jazz Jennings, she was under 18 when some of that stuff happened, but I'm not sure. But they, they, they either passed or are trying to pass a law in LA that states, if your child comes to you and asks to do some of these things, this you part say is true. No, they can take your kid from yeah, you. Yeah. This part, this part is true. And there's a lawsuit in Escondido right now. This isn't a national story. This is two cities over for me. I'm in North County, San Diego. There's a lawsuit right now because the school teachers are suing the Escondido school school district because they're told that you have to use this child's preferred pronouns with them privately but lie to the parents and use their assigned it, assigned it birth pronouns when interacting with the parents causing the teachers to violate the their own integrity conscience but also their own integrity policy okay so this stuff is happening all right that's true it just passed in california that does that makes no sense they want us to have no control over our children I don't, I don't get it. In schools, I don't get it. hospitals, libraries. Yeah. They just want to manipulate. You got to understand when they're so young and they're already, that's impressionable. That's right. Mm -hmm. And from them, they're going to believe what you say. I mean, yeah. we say Santa Claus is real. You know, mm -hmm. the Easter and they Bunny. Believe it. Like, right, exactly. Like, you gotta they know what they're doing. Remember who you're dealing with. Like, I, I don't, I, I can't take credit for it, but I heard somebody say one time, he's like, all right, if your son comes to you and says, Daddy, I want to be a girl, ask your son, son, what is a girl? Shout out, Matt Walsh. <laughs> Shout out, Matt Walsh. Now, listen, I, I think Neo, I think he was reasonable here. Now, let's check out his apology and subsequent unapology. Okay, so this is, this is, this is to his Twitter and his Instagram. Check out what he says. After much reflection, I'd like to express my deepest apologies to anyone that I may have hurt with my comments on parenting and gender identity. I've always been an advocate for love and inclusivity to the LGBT plus community. So I understand now my comments uh, could have been interpreted as insensitive and offensive. Gender identity is nuanced. And I can honestly admit that I plan to better educate myself on this topic so I can approach future conversations with more empathy. At the end of the day, I lead with love and support everyone's freedom of expression and pursuit of happiness. Okay, so that, that initial clip came out a few days ago. This came out, I believe, yesterday. And then less than 24 hours since that apology came up, Neo, in the most based method ever, in the most based way ever, reneged his initial apology. Check this out. This is, this is, this is only in 2023. 
What's going on, loved ones? This is Neo. I normally don't give too much of a damn about what y'all think about what I do, or what y'all have to say about what I say, whatever. I normally don't care because, like I said, opinions ain't special. Everybody got one. However, this is something I feel very strongly on, and I need y'all to hear this from the horse's mouth. So it sounds like he's kind of alluding that the publicist is who put out that uh, apology, right? Because he's at a uh, publicist computer. What if the very things that Christian culture often dismisses as worldly actually aren't bad desires? What do I mean by that? It's obvious that the world values things like money, Money, fitness, fame, and immediate gratification. But I like to propose that those natural human desires can actually be redirected with God's words and God's ways of doing things in order to bring glory to Him and serve our neighbor on this side of eternity. And I like to call this very concept God-driven ambition. And we'll be unpacking all of this at my very first live podcast in-person gathering happening August 26th in Oceanside, California. We'll have God Logic Apologetics, Pastor Jeff Moores from Rhythm Church, John Keith, Trizzle Fitness, and hosted by my guy Ray Rock. Lock it in on your calendars right now, Saturday, August 26th in Oceanside, California at Rhythm Church. Click the button down below or go to RooslawnLive.com to get more information and get your ticket. Almost, I do not apologize for having an opinion on this matter. I am a 43-year-old heterosexual man raising five boys and two girls, okay? That's my reality. Now, if my opinion offended somebody, yeah, sure, I apologize for you being offended because that wasn't my intention. My intention is never to offend anybody. How I love I love the uh, the apology. That's not really an apology. It's like, I'm sorry if you're offended. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry if your feelings are hurt. Like, that. <laughs> Uh, you know, like it's like a, it's like it's, it's supposed to sound like an apology, but it's not really an apology. I'm sorry for anyone I may have offended. That ain't no apology. You just, you know, you just that's a fake apology, right? However, I'm entitled to feel how I feel. Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely entitled to feel how I feel. The that's same right. way you are entitled to feel how you feel. That's right. I ain't asked nobody to follow me. I ain't asked nobody to agree with me. That's right. I was asked a question, and I answered the damn question. Okay. Notice that no one tried to deny the statements or are engaged with the actual statements and or the realities of what's happening in California with this goofy law that they're trying to pass. Okay, I have no beef with the IA plus community. What? LGTV, man. LGTV. Just say LGTV. Whatsoever. I ain't got no beef with y'all. <laughs> do whatever the hell it is you want to do. Do what you want to do with your kids. However, somebody asked my opinion. I, I, I would say don't do what you want to do with your kids, man. Give it, give your kids a shot. Don't, 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 don't let your kids make permanent decisions that they might regret because detransition and that movement is real too. And their voices should be heard. On this matter, and this is how I feel. I will never be okay with allowing a child to make a decision that detrimental to their life. I will. Oops. Oops. There goes the apology. The publicist is pulling her hair out. No, Neo, you're burning the bag. What are you doing? <laughs> never be okay with that. I don't care. I, I definitely plan to educate myself a little bit more on this matter. However, I doubt that there's any book anywhere or any opinion that somebody's <laughs> going to tell me that's going to make me okay with letting a child make a decision like that. That's Yo, this man said, I, you know, I, I hear y'all out, but ain't no book going to change my mind on this. <laughs> I'll, I, listen, send me your articles, but n nothing you're going to send me that's going to make me change my mind about this. Yo, this is the most double-handed, uh, backsided apology I've ever heard. About. This is amazing. That's just period, point blank, and that's how I feel. If I get canceled for this, then you know what? Maybe this is a world where they don't need a Neo no more, all right? Oh. And I got no problem with that. I'm a hustler, all right? I'll figure it out. I got kids to raise, Come on. and I'm going to do that regardless. So with that being said, y'all have a good day. I love everybody. Live how you want to live. Love how you want to love. But your opinion is yours. Speak your opinion as much as you damn well feel like it. Because right. as I said, they're not important. They're not special. Everybody got one and you're entitled to it. I'm entitled to mine. All right. Y'all feel how y'all want to feel. Have a great day. It's Neo. Peace and love. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, the crux of what's happening and what we're seeing happen is that people aren't allowed to just have opinions. They definitely aren't allowed to have biblical opinions. What's happening is there's pseudoscience being made to pass as new forms of dogma and fundamentalism, radical fringe ideologies. And if you don't adhere to new set dogmas, like there's only, there's more than two genders, you can change genders, your gender was assigned to you at birth, kids should be allowed to socially transition. If you reject said dogmas, 
you are now on the outside of the group, and this is their own form of heresy. This is no longer live and let live. This is no longer we just want to be left alone. Love is love. That's not what this is anymore. This is affirm me or you're a bigot. Affirm me or I'm coming for your ways of monetizing and earning a living for your family. And I think, this is just me, I think the more people that, that I may not agree with his views on a couple of things, I may not know what he believes about God or whatever, but I think the more Neos and Dave Chappelle's come out and take a stand and poke the bear intentionally, I think the better and, and the more progress will be made in terms of allowing people to have their conversation and uh, ultimately having the debate about this stuff. Because that's another thing is this stuff isn't being debated. Get together, pull your articles, show me the science that says that someone that identifies as a transformer's brain is different than someone that doesn't, is, is quote unquote cisgender. Show me the evidence. Oh, there isn't any. The only change in the brain that happens is after you start injecting them with testosterone. Interesting. The same testosterone that gives men their masculine qualities, the same testosterone that has a uh, that, that a man is, has 10x of than a woman. Now, if you guys know that, average healthy man's testosterone is like five to 800. A healthy woman's testosterone doesn't really go above 70 or 80. And if it goes above 100, she's an outlier. And the only time you see shifts in the brain is after a biologically born woman has been given testosterone and her brain shifts, or a biologically born man is given estrogen and his testosterone dips. That's when you start seeing the brain shifts, but there's no brain changes, right? So what science are we talking about? There's no science. It's you, you, your thoughts make you feel things, and your feelings make you think things about yourself and about reality. That's not science. People think and feel all kinds of crazy things. Sure, narrow pathways make you feel things. Sometimes they're inaccurate from reality. Sometimes they're accurate from reality. But that doesn't mean the rest of the society has to engage in whatever it is that you're feeling. And if kids are all of a sudden feeling a certain way that, that the government could step in and take your kids from you, right? And that's where we're headed. And so I think the more this stuff that's talked about, the more people that are that are rebelling against the system, the better. I think whether it's Dave Chappelle, who there's stuff I disagree with, whether it's Neo, whether it's whoever, I think the, the better, the more people say common sense things, the better, because the world is checking off on common sense, right? In terms of the ideology. And all this stuff is downstream, right? There's, there's a top line ideology and all this stuff is downstream. And now the downstream is just becoming more and more ridiculous. Where folks like Neo, who probably wouldn't be a conservative, quote unquote, a conservative or phobic or religious, are like, yo, this is, y'all crazy. What are y'all doing? This is nuts. This is insane. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. Uh, kudos to Neo for standing up and 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 and, and pull, making his uh, publicist pull her hair out. <laughs> she got to be so hot right now. Hey, this is a segment from our daily after party stream. Consider partnering with us online for as little as $5 a month to get access to these daily after party streams completely unedited. You'll also get access to our podcast as they are streamed live into the community before anyone else gets to see them, get to interact with our guests, get access to our private Discord server, and a discount code for our store for as little as $5 a month. Ultimately, that will help towards helping us continue contextualizing the gospel using media and podcast here on YouTube. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.